the morning world. It is day 41, Shargao Island lockdown. I'm picking oregano leaves. It smells oregano. The oregano, that's how we say it in English, yeah. Would you like some in the bowl? Yeah. Thank you, very good. Uh. Take the big leaves. This one? Yeah, it's better if you use two hands. Should I hold the bowl? Yes. Put that down there. And then you use two hands and you can pick them. Look, see, if you pinch them like this. Yes. Watch, pinch, pop. It comes off really easy. I'll throw it in the bowl. Sure. Have you smelt them? Oops. Smell that. Yeah, that's good. It is good, isn't it? That's it. Did you put it in the bowl? And I think maybe two more. Thank you. Is that a, a finished? Uh, maybe one more. What? Just one? Yeah, one more leaf. Let's give them to mum. Yeah, let's take it back to mum. Oh, I think we're not going to grow these ones. We're going to eat them. We'll keep this, won't we? What have you found? This. What is it? A wing of a beetle. You want to keep a wing of a beetle? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to show them out. Okay. I thought it would be nice to make a proper breakfast today. I fancied a cooked breakfast, something different from my normal fruit that I have, or Jade is having his oats. And we have all the elements to make beans on toast with some garlic fried tomatoes and oregano leaves. I thought we could use the fresh leaves and fry them up with the tomato and the garlic. So that's the idea. <laughs> you do some morning art. Frogs are sweet. Yeah. The major frog. Sure. Okay. okay sorry. What's a fossil? Uh, bones that turned into stone. That's right. Bones that turned into stones. Well done. <laughs> you remember your lessons? Where do giraffes come from? Africa. <laughs> that's right. Oh, lily pads. Lily pads, yeah. Here's your breakfast and I'll draw the frog. Mm. Mm. Let's draw a really big frog. Ribbit. Like that? No, that, that actually is not. You're not happy with dad's frog? No, that, 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 that is, is even. Not bigger, that's smaller. You want a smaller frog? Yeah. Oh no. I think we've had a visit from Mrs. Gold last night. If we were in England, this would be the work of foxes, but here it's just gold. This is bad, bad. It's really bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Naughty gold. She must be hungry, eh? Yeah, he wanted to, to eat those. What was she trying to eat though? What was in there? Just vegetables. Yes. Actually, not even that because we've been composting the vegetables, haven't we? Yeah. So actually, should we go and put the compost in the in the pile? No. What do you mean no? I'm gonna go back in. Okay, go on then. Thanks for for, for telling me the gold gold this did that. Thanks for telling you. You're welcome. The compost pile. Uh, Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Watermelon. Hey, yep, watermelon. There's so many. And I want to show you something. Yeah. Look. Look. Oh yeah. You're gonna be a gymnast. What's gymnast? Somebody that does like athletics on beams and good, really good at balancing and stretching. Ugh. Like that, that's right. Ready for some serious swinging? Hey. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. I want to get a hold of the Okay. Because I'm big guns. Because uh. I need to. If you hear a sound. This is what happened to my butter. 
So this is the second day of attempting to make it better. <laughs> I put a bit of turmeric in there, but it still hasn't really fixed it, has it? No, it's, too, it's a bit too hard. Yeah. It the, tastes nice. Yeah. But it's, it, you'd need to leave it out of the fridge to be able to spread it on toast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if the toast is hot, we managed to do that for Story, so yeah. she can enjoy that. And it's breakfast time. Mummy made us beans on toast with like a little salsa on top. There's some fresh oregano leaves on there too. They smell amazing. Papa's doing some drawing with Story at the moment. Well, they're doing some colouring, I think, on Story's colouring books. Yeah, we're going with the yellow today. Mm -hmm. I can see a couple of coconuts underneath, I think. Yeah, that's brown. Yeah, that's brown. Yeah, that's brown. Yeah, that's brown. Yeah, brown. Two coconuts, wasn't there? Three. Yeah, three. Oh, wow. Good job. Ooh. There's three of them. Three of them, wow. The story has decided to join us at the <laughs> breakfast table. You've had your breakfast already, haven't you? You're going for a blue elephant today, Story. Yeah, because they have to be blue. They have to be blue today. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Story's going to say hello to her friend, and he's gone shy. This is going to be our first water run without the tuk-tuk. So let's see how heavy it is. <laughs> it's a feral walk. Yeah. Hi. All right. Marius just told us that one of our favourite cafes here, locally, is actually still serving food. And we thought they were closed all this time, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Although saying that, they were behind one of the quarantine checkpoints before, weren't they? Yeah, so we can actually get to them. Yeah. There was not much way for us to check. Yeah. But it's good to know, things yeah. are slightly getting back to normal. Yeah, they do a cocoa burger. Yeah. So the burger patty is actually made from coconut meat. Yeah. And it's really good. Oh, so. it's so tasty. Yeah, now that we know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I've... we could walk down the beach front. Yeah, we could go all the way there. down. Because yeah. um, before the lockdown, my mum said, it was one of the best burgers she's ever had. Yeah. And I agree, like the taste of it was just fantastic. Yeah, well, so we'll have to go back and do that. Story is fast asleep, by the way. She is, yeah. We uh, snuck out to get the water. Yep. There's something to note here that yesterday we were going to take Story out in the morning. And when we said, let's go out, let's go for a walk, she was like, are we going to walk or are we going to go on the tuk tuk? Like, she's asking lots of questions. She's like, no, we're going to walk. And then she kind of went a little bit kind of into herself and then decided that she didn't want to go and that she said to me after Jay had left with his mum but I'm not allowed to go out I'm a bit scared mummy I'm not allowed and well we've never said that to her so that's something that she's come up with in in a, on her own mm. or maybe picked up from what we've been talking about so yeah story didn't want to go out yesterday because she was scared she's and, starting to develop some kind of fear of the outside yeah, and that she wasn't allowed to be outside and that's something that we've been trying to avoid isn't it yes because eventually the world is going to get back to normal yeah. and we can't have her having a fear of the outside and we don't want to have a fear of the outside but then obviously after that we spoke to her about it and then she came out with us and we went on a walk to the village and yeah. she didn't mention anything about being scared so i think that it's okay we've already broken the cycle perhaps yeah, but yeah. she's never said that before so yeah, it was uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, we've tried to stay quite conscious about child psychology as parents, you know, like growing up with Story and learning about being parents while she's learning about the world. And this is like obviously a very unusual circumstance to be in. So we've had to be extra conscious about what's been going on and how it's going to affect her growing up because, of course, she's only three years old and these are key months in her yeah. life for, for her, like developmental programming you know sorry we're just trying to <laughs> jump over these like little islands puddles. puddles yeah <laughs> we're just going to leave the heavy bottle of water at the entrance to the village there go and do some more shopping and then come back and pick it up so we don't have to lug it around with us oh yeah it's too much to take yeah. right in i want to go and see if we can find some taro roots yeah because we've been Enjoying that. Having that, yeah. So I want to see if we can get it. I'm going to cook it for dinner tonight. So we've been reading online that experts are saying that they think in the UK people are going to need brain training to stop them being afraid of the whole social contact thing after this pandemic is over. Yeah. And that is pretty scary. We've just been talking about it quite a lot yeah. and how 
you know, how Beth's story reacted to not thinking she was allowed to go out. And all of the children that are growing up in this pandemic yeah. are going to be going through some form of crazy adjustment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we think as adults about how it's affecting the world and the economy and things like that and all the different things that are going on to do with this crisis. But for kids, like, this must mm. be so strange. This is the new world, Like, isn't everything it for them? that they know, going to a playground or you know, going to a nursery, if they go to a nursery or a kindergarten, it's all been just stopped. Yeah. And they're like, no, you can't go out. <laughs> and the, ad the adults of the world aren't ready to be able to explain what's going on yeah. because this is too new for us, too. Show us your green loot. <laughs> Don't quite know what these are. It looks a bit like a water spinach, but it probably isn't. It's a green leaf. Yeah, you can eat. exactly. That's the important thing. <laughs> and we also got the taro. They had three taro roots, so we got them all. There's also a couple of cucumbers in there, some tomatoes thrown in, a bunch of bananas. <laughs> all in one bag. Everything you need. <laughs> <laughs> is this working for you? Not really. <laughs> it's less strain on my arms. Yeah. But I am having to balance it because the um, the hat doesn't have enough like squash. Yeah, I think so it's probably making it worse. <laughs> That's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only reason we would have kept the tuk tuk on right now, is for when we needed to go and collect water. But we thought we can use our arms instead. <laughs> instead of keeping on the tuk-tuk just to collect heavy things from the village. And it gives Jay a little bit of a workout as well, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got the heavy vegetables and Jay's got the water. Hello. You're awake. Did you have a nice nap? Yeah. Have you been up long? Hey, why are you holding it on the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> daddy carries it all the way back from the shop. Strong daddy. Oh, it's oh, oh. So Story's just said goodbye to her little friend. I just wanted to quickly say that the only reason why J. Del Mar is in the house is because he's been here with us for like almost two months. We, we don't just let strangers in the house, you know, or any kid or that's from the village or whatnot. Yeah, we trust that he's not sick, you he's know. He's been coming around to play pretty much from like the first week that we arrived here. So yeah, that's the reason why yeah, he's, he's you know, allowed to play with Story, just in case you're worried about that. You, you having fun? Yes, I just were talking to Papa. Yeah? What have you been talking about? Well, Mina was going to town. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, she's going to hopefully bring us some bread back, isn't she? Yeah, and some olives. <gasps> oh, we've got olives in the cupboard. Do you want some olives? <laughs> Come out. You can have olives for dinner. When the island opens up again, yeah. what do you want to do? Uh, I want to play on the beach. Oh, <laughs> you can do that right now if you want. Um, um, and I want to rescue. Rescue crabs. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm a rescue. You are, so aren't you? you want to go to a different beach? Yeah. So are you allowed to go outside? Yes. Are you looking Ouch. forward to going outside? Yeah, I'm looking for. Yeah. Going back into town? No. You don't want to go into town? No, Why? not with Mina. No, not with Mina. You can come with us. Do you want um, to go into town? No. You know, there's like a toy shop in town. Huh? There's a toy shop in town. Oh. Yeah? Didn't know that. You didn't know? <laughs> well, we didn't know either. We only found out recently. Yeah. Huh? So when the island opens up, would you like to go to the toy shop? <laughs> yes. And what would you what would you look for in there? Um what kind of toy would you like? A shark toy. A shark toy? Yeah, I can't eat one. Okay, Aww. we'll see if we can find you a shark toy. Fluffy, fluffy. A cuddly fluffy, shark. Yeah? Huh? All right, like a sea creature, a fluffy yeah. sea creature. Yes. Okay, we'll try and see if we can find something like that. Yes, 
because I want to play that. <laughs> okay. Okay. You yeah. run away then. You're desperate to run off, aren't you? <laughs> I'm glad that she didn't say that she was scared to go out anymore. No. Yeah, so it looks like that's been diffused. Yeah, maybe it was a one-off. Yeah. Maybe she was feeling a little bit sensitive yesterday. <laughs> Possibly. So we're going to work our way through this hefty list of shout-outs because <laughs> it's building up. Starting with Lemuel, who's in the Kingdom of Bahrain at the moment. So hi to you. Hello. Moving on to Belle and Robert in Nevada. Hi oh, guys. I like Nevada, it's yeah. nice there. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Jose Hernandez from California. You get your eight miles from home fix every night. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> um, we'll do one more and this shout out goes to Bob and Josie Frank living in the USA. Mm. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Hope you guys are all well. Hope you enjoyed your little shout out. <laughs> we hit another big milestone last night. 10,000 followers on our Instagram page. Uh, something we've been w working towards for ages. Yes. <laughs> so we can now do swipe up. Yeah. Don't so know we'll swipe up too yet. But... Videos, I guess, video links. But oh, yeah. I, feel, I feel quite proud of that. Yeah. So if you want your very own shout out, you can send us a message via Instagram and we'll add you to our shout out list, yeah. which gets longer every day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today and we'll see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye. Bye.